What if the universe didn't follow the rules you always believed? What if something could be true and impossible at the same time? It's not magic, not madness. It's a paradox. A paradox is when logic fails, when the world bends into contradiction, when you try to understand and everything collapses, but somehow it all makes sense, at least for a moment. Imagine saying, I'm lying right now. If it's true, then it's a lie. If it's a lie, then it must be true. Your mind spins. Reason folds in on itself, and suddenly, you're standing at the edge of the unexplainable. Paradoxes aren't just riddles. They live in time, in space, in physics, and in the soul. They are cracks in the mirror of reality, openings through which truth slips away. Today, you'll witness six of them. Paradoxes that challenge what's real, what's possible, and what may already be happening. But be careful, once you see them, you can't unsee them. Imagine stepping into a time machine. You travel decades into the past and accidentally prevent your grandfather from ever meeting your grandmother. The result? You were never born. But then, who went back in time? This is the grandfather paradox, a time loop so deep the cause erases the very effect. It's like pulling the thread that holds your existence together. If you stop your own birth, then you never existed to go back. But if you never traveled, how did you stop your birth? This spiral of logic breaks every timeline. It's the kind of question that rips reality in two, and it leads us to something deeper. Is time a straight line, or can it bend? Maybe there's only one line, or maybe there are infinite versions of you, living out the echoes of choices you never made, each one a shadow of a possibility each one a different path through the same paradox. Imagine finding an old book, a physics manual, written by you, but there's one detail, you haven't been born yet. Years later, you publish the exact same book, but where did it come from? Who was the real author? This is the bootstrap paradox. When an object, an idea, a song, or an invention enters a closed loop in time. No beginning, no origin. Creation feeds itself, and the past depends on the future it created. The cycle continues. Repeating. Closed. No witnesses. No beginning. Only existence. That insists on being there. But if it wasn't created, did it always exist? Or is it just a glitch in a perfect simulation? It's like reality hit copy, but forgot to paste the source, and now we're stuck with the echo of something that was never born. Not every paradox comes from space or physics. Some are born in the human mind, like the cobra effect. During British rule in India, there was a serious problem in Delhi, venomous cobras everywhere. To fix it, the government offered a reward, money for every dead cobra. At first, it worked. People began turning in snakes for cash, but soon, something unexpected happened. Locals started breeding cobras at home, just to kill them and collect the reward. The solution became the problem. When the government canceled the program, the breeders released the snakes, and the streets filled with even more cobras than before. This is the cobra effect, when logic creates a monster. A plan so clever, it traps itself. It's a paradox of incentives, good intentions with twisted results. Today, it happens in other ways. Bonuses that cause fraud, quotas that create pressure, systems that turn against their own purpose. Whenever this happens, the paradox bites back. Sometimes, the most dangerous traps are the ones we set ourselves. And the more we try to fix it, the deeper we fall. What if time didn't flow the same for everyone? What if, for you, decades passed, but for someone else, only a few years? Imagine two twin brothers. One stays on Earth, the other travels through space. 
almost at the speed of light. When he returns, he's younger than his brother. How is that possible? This is the twin paradox. And it's not fiction, it's real science. When someone moves very fast, time slows down for them. And we want to know how to make it happen. But for now, let's focus on moving extra fast for them. Their body ages more slowly. Their clock ticks more gently. It's as if time bends, creating two different realities. For the one who stayed, decades passed. For the one who traveled, just a few years. And both are right. Because time changes depending on how fast you move. This leads to a bigger question. What if time isn't something that flows? What if it's a place, a map, where past, present, and future all exist at once? The twin paradox doesn't break logic. It unveils a silent truth. Maybe time doesn't age us, it simply separates us. In 1935, Austrian physicist Erwin Schrödinger proposed a thought experiment that still shakes the foundation of reality. Imagine a box. Inside there's a device triggered by the decay of a single atom, a quantum process. If the atom decays, a vial of poison is released. If not, nothing happens. And inside the box, there's a cat. According to quantum mechanics, until you open the box, the atom is both decayed and intact. Which means, the cat is both alive and dead. It's not magic, it's physics. This is the Schrodinger's cat paradox, an idea born to expose the strange limits of quantum theory, but one that ended up revealing something even deeper. Sometimes, reality only exists when we look at it. The cat isn't just a cat. It's a symbol of uncertainty, of all the things we can't see, the truths suspended between yes and no, life and death, what is, and what might be. In this paradox, observation becomes creation. Until we look, reality doesn't decide. It waits. It floats in possibility. And maybe, so do we. How many moments in life are like that box? A job offer? A message you never sent? A love you didn't pursue? We live surrounded by boxes, each one holding a different version of the truth, and we are both the cat and the observer. In 2008, Chinese author Liu Cixing introduced an idea so powerful it stepped beyond fiction. Today, philosophers and scientists discuss it as a possible answer to one of the universe's greatest mysteries. It's called the Dark Forest Paradox. Imagine the universe as a vast, dark, silent forest. Every intelligent civilization is like a hidden hunter, armed, still, barely breathing. Because here, any sound, any sign of life might be fatal. Not out of hatred, but fear. Whoever speaks too loudly might be destroyed by whoever hears first. Maybe we're not alone. Maybe the universe is full of eyes, of weapons, of silence. And the reason we hear nothing is not emptiness. It's strategy. In the end, this forest is not peaceful. It's tense, cold, terrifyingly quiet, because here, silence isn't peace. It's survival. If you made it this far, thank you. Not everyone walks through the dark and chooses to keep going. Here at Curious Verse, we explore the questions that don't have easy answers. If this journey moved something inside you, if it made you wonder, or feel even a little more human, consider subscribing. And if this last paradox still echoes in your mind, tell us what you think in the comments. We're reading everything. And sometimes, the best thoughts come not from the script, but from you. Welcome to Curious Verse, and thank you for thinking with us.